Hey, Snake. Something I've been meaning to ask you. That canyon. Isn't that where you demolished Raven's tank? How'd you do it, anyway? How? Uh, well... Grenades. That's it? You didn't use an anti-tank missile or something? Didn't have one. Your technique is kind of... Well, how do I put this? Archaic when it comes to fighting tanks. Honestly, I don't think it'd work on today's main battle tanks. Well, that's how I did it. What do you want me to say? You know, I asked an active duty army officer once, if an infantryman had to take on a tank one-on-one, -on -one, how should he do it? And what was his answer? Don't. He swore there's no way in hell a single infantryman could take down a tank by himself. Huh. Interesting. I always suspected there was a little something crazy about you, Snake. But hearing that story, now I know it. You're nuts! Single-handedly taking out a tank? That's crazy! You're insane! Otacon, is this your idea of a compliment? Yes! You're the toughest, craziest, most hardcore badass on the planet! You're... the shit! Hi, this is Rose. I need an update on my psych. Good for you, Snake. You're taking great care of your psych. No worries on my end. Hmm, glad to hear it. Here's a good way to think about your psych gauge. Low psych equals high stress. So the best way to replenish your psych gauge is to relieve your stress. Being pursued by the enemy can be a tremendous source of stress. By the same token, staying out of sight and giving your body a rest relieves stress and allows the psych gauge to recover. Find a safe place where you can crouch or lie down and just lay low for a while. Also, just getting out of extreme heat or cold can have a positive effect on the gauge. Pay attention to how the sight gauge moves, and find a stress relief technique that works for you. something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? She might be a spy. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. Great Fox. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge. But I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. I vowed
Finally! It's just up ahead. The hangar's just a little bit further. Stay en route. is on the floor above you. Use the lift. Afraid so. Unfortunately for you, the railgun is no longer here. Naomi! This place will be your grave, as my queen wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon, there'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. Rodagon! Snake, I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry! Mm. I'll leave the rest to you. They owe me! Excellent. You'll amuse me until they arrive. Take care of Rex. You take Vamp. 
Kill that monster! Get Naomi back, Snake! Please! <laughs> Make him pay, Snake! Do it for me! For Emma! Snake, I don't know much about Vamp, so there's not much I can offer you by way of advice. But you do have my unconditional support. Don't let him beat you, Snake.
Sir, but can you kill this mere mortal? and they take us with them. You've got to keep them back. I'm sending you data on where to be. Put a bullet through their brains. Here they come again! Hang in there, Snake! 
Don't give up! He was never immortal. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nanomachines inside his body. But, after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor, he's my pain. <laughs> Sonny asked me to tell you something. What is it? I cooked them right. I see. Good for you, Sonny. You finally did it. No, I can't save you.
You have to trust me, Dr. Emmer. Give this to him. Not for revenge, but to end his suffering. Now you can return to your true self. You can be at peace. Snake. Huh. Liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship, unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Huh. Snake. You have been given life so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. Naomi! What have you done? Vamp and I, we are the same. We're living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. Cancer. I shouldn't even be alive right now. The nanomachines have kept it from progressing. But there's nothing more they can do. With the nanomachines gone, time will unfreeze and begin to flow again. What are you saying? Such beautiful eyes. Oh. 
get moving. Oh, no, we didn't play. Back on. Come on. Pull yourself together. Time's running short, so I'll explain as we go. Pay close attention. I'm listening. 